So I just read an article saying that the House just passed a bill that they're going to automatically register men from 18 to 26 for war, okay? And all I want to say is to America, good luck with that. <laughs> These new little niggas are TikTokers, baby. These motherfuckers ain't going to fight no war. We're going to die. You're going to die. You might as well just keep motherfucking... Uh, investing money in your yeah, guns because these these new kids you want to send these new kids to fight these wars the tiktok fucking hip shakers out of your mind this is a new america baby this ain't the 19 motherfucking not like seriously you i got some news for your motherfuckers house passes defense bill automatically registering men 18 to 26 for draft it's now mandatory for all male u.s citizens to register for the selective service also known as the military draft when they turn 18. failure to register is classified as a felony so is what's happening over there like in palestine is what's happening over there still not your problem or or not yet J just let me know just a reminder um, they don't have a bill where you're automatically registered to vote. So just, just tapping in. Let me know if it's your problem yet. Let me know when it's your problem. Okay, because people want more clarity on this. So, yes, registering has already been a part of the American expectation. However, now this is saying that you will automatically be registered. The Senate still has House passes defense bill automatic passes. Uh, there is bipartisan support. They also have added women to this. And the biggest element of this that I want y'all to pay attention to is the fact that whenever you start to see a government tinker with things that have already been precedent or that have already been passed, it's because they want to do something more extreme. They tinker first to see what the temperature is, to see if they can get anything shaken. And then they will then move on. And they do things like this also to check what the populace is gonna say. So when I see so many people respond to this tinkering right here with, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna free up funds and they'll reallocate the funds. That means that so, they understand that so many of the populace still thinks that this government is working for them. Reallocate funds for what? You think they're gonna reallocate funds for healthcare? You think they're gonna reallocate funds for the houseless population? You think they're gonna reallocate funds for reparations? Yeah, no dice. Those reallocated funds are going to war. Much of the reason to pass this, American News doesn't talk about anywhere else is because they don't want you paying attention to anywhere else. But ultimately, America is an imperialist empire that is actively harming the world and it will come back on us. It's inevitable. American News doesn't talk about anywhere Shalom, shalom, Israel. We'll start by giving our glory and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahusha, by Hashem, and Chakadash. I'm the brother number one for that to be Florida from the camp from Babylon. Come on, another quick hit to the spirit of Pirate by Shemal Shai. Lord wanted to edify and feed the sheep. Devil answered that I was an apostle, great millstone, teach you well. Peace and blessings to the brothers who push this work into sincerity to the scattered brought. All right, now I want to go into this lesson. As you can see, all right, recently there was a bill passed. All right, going to um, the defense bill automatically registering males right from the age of 18 to 26 for the United States uh, draft, all right, which um, shows that Esau's man, he's getting really desperate, all right, he's uh, even pulling the stunt of what, uh, a draft, okay, because he's going to need more hands on deck, all right, once it comes to, um, all right, this, these, these wars that there's been, okay, um, all right, rumors, I should say, all right, it's being spoken of, man. What the scripture goes into rumors of wars, all right? But, hey, we're in the times where we're going to see this thing, all right, speed up, all right, leading to what? World War Three, man, all right, which we already in the midst of these things being screwed up, okay, but it's going to get much worse, all right, through the Spirit Prayer by Shemel Shine, okay, but seeing it says a house passing defense bill automatically registering, man, 18 and 26 for U.S. Wrath. Okay, so which, hey man, we're going into it. All right, going to grab a couple of scriptures and right, to speak on this, man, because what well, you have it where, all right, this is in the scriptures, man. All right, getting straight to the point. And Esau, man, is about to lose it all, man. 
Okay, and we're about to gain it on. We're about to receive it all, man, through the spirit, pray about Shemel Chai. All right, and Esau is about to lose it uh, uh, in a worse way, man. Okay, going out with in, in flames. All right, but um, you have it where these women are going to be very much heavy, uh, heavily uh, affected, man. Okay, all right, which goes into Second Ezra chapter uh, 16, verse 33. Yep, it says, The virgins shall mourn, having no bridegrooms, the woman shall mourn, having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn, having no helpers. In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. All right, and this is going to be the, uh, all right, the outcome, all right, what's going to come, all right, to when these drafts is being put to play, man. All right, these men are go sent be sent to go to war, man. All right. A you woman gonna be uh, um, without a husband, without a without a, uh, a help, okay, to the to, to support into the household, all right. You woman gonna be in in a state of defenseless, or if all hell was to break loose, all right, and there will be any uh, uh, intruders, man, okay. You woman be would be left out there, or uh, for dead, okay. Reading it again in Second Genesis chapter sixteen verse thirty three, the virgins shall mourn. Having no bridegrooms, and woman, it says, uh, it says the woman shall mourn, having no husband. So you're gonna be in a state of mourning, man. All right, you woman gonna be out here and, and die in streets, man, in the need of a, a, a of a man. All right, which hey, you have what the Lord gonna have his men, okay, set up. I rather that we be those uh, uh, men, okay, uh, in that uh, 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 um, pushing this thing in truth and sincerity. All right, and that you woman. Uh, We'll have to cleave on to, man, ultimately, all right? If the Lord deems it. It says, no, it says, having no husbands, their daughters shall mourn, having no helpers, okay? No helpers, man. You know, men in the house, man, to give them a set of instructions or whatever thing, so so be, all right? You woman going to need an actual a man. But guess what? All right, you have Esau's uh, speaking of this draft. What does that mean? It means you, 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 you men, all right, husbands, all right, ain't gonna have to be sent to go to war. So reading on, it says, um, it says, and the war shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish in famine, or per perish of famine. All right, so this is gonna be, uh, you know, the the consequences of, um, what what what's gonna play out over there in, in this wars, man. Okay, and you have it where it's already uh, being spoken of rumors of wars, okay, and these things, all right, so, you know, this thing is already just spewing up, all right, uh, you know, quickly, okay, so how much more are when you or, 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 or you have it when you're actually in it, man, okay, and they already said what, um, for the ones that do not participate or, or, or um, you know, Engage into doing this thing, man. All right, this draft, you know, you're going to be what? Automatically deemed as a, a felon, okay? Because there's going to be some rebelliousness, all right? But see, Esau knows that, man. So he's going to make it where, all right, he's going to make your life a lot harder. If not, uh, make it where it's completely uh, under, uh, the, under oppression, man, okay? <laughs> and it's a lot more than what, what, what the oppression he's doing now. Okay, so Esau's got some slick, you know, uh, um, you know, corners that he's gonna bend if he has to to get people to um, participate. All right, which in these in these case, man, we're gonna trust in you by Shemel Shai. All right, because at the end of the day, that's what hey, that's what the spirit's gonna lead, man. Okay, but it says, um, let me see. Um, oh, it's like let me grab this right here. Um. And while I look for that, hey, you have it where even the scripture says um, to not make, not uh, hasten the time of trouble, okay? Because what? Yeah, how about Shemar Shah is going to protect us, man, okay? At the end of the day, Esau is going to do what he got to do, coming down having great wrath. But at the end of the day, what, 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 what how about Shemar Shah ensured us is that if you have about Shemar Shah before us, who shall be against us, man, okay? But you have it where, hey, others are going to be affected, Tremendously, okay. But this is why uh, I got the scripture. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter sixteen, verse four. 
It says, they shall die of grievous death. They shall uh, not be lamented. Neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth. All right. This is going to be pretty much that aftermath, man. All right. You're going to have uh, no you're not going to have no time for lamenting. You're not going to have no time uh, for 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 bearing your loved ones, your friends. OK, you know, it ain't going to be time for that, man. It's just it's going to be a, a, a time of what? A, a great death and destruction, famine, pestilence, sword. OK, and this is all going to play out, man. Which the how about you know, is going to said that this was going to happen, man. All right, proceeding to our uh, second Ezra chapter 15. All right, but reading that again, it says, um, getting that first part, it says, they shall die of grievous deaths. And that's what's going to take all, uh, 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 take place all uh, throughout, uh, you know, when these men go out there to war. Okay, even over here, we're speaking of a time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, you're going to have many that's going to perish here. You're going to have many that's going to perish over there. Okay, it says, they shall not be lamented, neither Shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth. You're going to have nothing but bodies, man. All right. You got that one song. It's, uh, it's uh, let the bodies hit the flow. You know, hey, man, it's going to be bodies dropping. All right. It's going to be many bodies dropping their faces. All right. Turning to paleness. And it's going to be crazy, man. Okay. But even in the midst of these things, you how much is going to protect his men. Okay, it says, and they shall be consumed by the sword, the famine. All right, and it says, by famine. Whew, wow. Reading that again, it says, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine. Okay, so there you go. Once again, you know, going to be put, consumed by what? All right, sword and by famine. And their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of of the earth, man. So you want to have uh, these wild beasts and even wild animals uh, munching on these dead bodies, man. It's going to be left. All right. And when you look at World War II, man, you had those body corpses that was on the floor. All right. When you showed you uh, old videos when you was in history class, all right, where these certain things were, uh, all right, grievous, okay, uh, uh, deaths. All right. You've seen it where there was body limbs uh, uh, everywhere, man. Okay. Even when they do these movies you watch, okay? This is going to come upon this place. You're going to have nothing but but grievous deaths, all right? And, and tragedy, uh, um, judgments going you know, going out. Okay, so it said, uh, I'll read up a little again. By famine and their cartridges, which their bodies shall be meat for the fowls of, of, of heaven, man. And for the beasts of the earth. So you there you have it. All right, this is gonna be the aftermath and tragedies, um, you know, tragedies that's gonna take place. All right, within um, what the judgment Yahweh is gonna bring upon this place, man. Okay, let me see what else. Um, let me grab Jeremiah. I even grab Jeremiah chapter thirty. Okay, because we mentioned it, so we must bring it out. Chapter thirty, verse uh, four it says. And, and these are the words that the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai expect concerning Israel and concerning Judah. All right, which is speaking to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American. Verse 5, for thus said the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai, we have heard a voice of trembling. All right, so there you're going to be, you have it, uh, uh, it's going to be a thing of trembling, man. And it says of fear and not of peace. So that's not a good sign, Okay. Something terrible is to come if they tell you it's going to be a what a sign of what trembling, okay, and of fear and not of peace, right? Verse six. Actually, now and see whether a man doth travel with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all his all and in all faces turn into paleness. And you have it. All right, you gonna have these people like a. Um, you see in all these old cartoon videos, okay, or shows where, um, you know, the, 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 the character face kind of just go plain or it has a, a, a distraught look to it. All right. Well, this is going to be the state of these people when they see bodies, uh, left and right. 
right when they see uh, strange apparitions, when it's going to be you know killings, murders, robberies, you know every every turn you turn around. Scripture speak, you know, speak of that about that too. You know, as as if uh, 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 how does it go? Um, as if a man did flee from a lion, and a bear met him. Okay, so hey, hey matter of fact, um, let me see. Let me grab that. All right, to get the point. It says, uh, let me see. Uh, this is a book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 19. It reads, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him and went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. So you're going to have trouble at, all, 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 at uh, every corner, man. Okay. Hey, you gonna have trouble at every corner that you look. Okay, rather it be the wild animal, wild beast. Okay, whether it be a uh, individual is trying to take your life for for whatever you have, um, you know, at state, you know. So, you know, it's gonna be terrifying, man. All right, it says verse nineteen, a slack at verse twenty. It says, "Shall not the day of the Lord of Hashemel shy?" Uh, be darkness and not light, even very dark and not slacking so and no brightness in it. All right, so it's gonna be a, that's gonna be a very dark and gloomy day, man. Okay, nothing but death and destruction left and right. All right, at every side. So, um, I'm gonna grab a few more. The Lord wants to be edifying. All right, so let me grab this right here. Um, Going back into um, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. At last, it says, For that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So, hey, you have it where, you know, even in, in that day, man, okay, um, Jacob's trouble, man, is gonna be a tragedy time, man. Like none, like other, man. No, like no other, man. Okay, ain't gonna be. It's gonna be. Ain't gonna. It's gonna be way worse than, uh, you know, um, slavery and any other thing that came along upon this place, man. That you would have thought of it would be a tragedy. You see, so hey, you know, it's gonna be a, a very, very, uh, serious time. Okay. Um. Let me grab this right here. All right, going into. Let me see. <clears throat> Just the book of uh, Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 33. And it says, And when it come to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. Right, so you know everything that we've been saying, all right, that we've been bringing out through the spirit prayer by Shemal Shai. All right, when it comes to these things according to prophecy, that's going to come to pass, man. Whether you like it or not, you're going to know that was, uh, prophet had been among you, going because you was warned. Uh, you was, uh, uh, as the scripture says, um, I believe have a good chapter two, verse three. Though it tarry, wait for it. Uh, it, it shall not, it shall not tarry. Uh, or I should not have a delay, man. You know, so, you know, it's going to it's going to come to pass according to what the Lord set it up to be. So according to his will, man, you see, so there's no way around. it. There's no getting around this, uh, this prophecy. You see, and people think, that, you know, they, they go about the daily lives, they go about things like, uh, you know, nothing's going to happen. But hey, just as they did in the time of Noah, man, going to do the time of, uh, of now, man. You see, Noah was out there uh, for 120 years plus. OK, uh, bringing this word out, man. And people refuse until, you know, that flood came. How much when it comes to this fire, when it comes to all these things that we've been bringing out according to prophecy, man. Okay. You got Jacob's trouble. You got, you got, uh, you know, nuclear missiles, man. World War Three, All right. The, a, the M to the O to the T to the B, man. Okay. Hey, hey, this place is about to, it's, it's, it's about to crumble. Okay. And the Lord is speeding up the times for his elect. I would rather that we be the elect. All right. But, um, you know, that was the point, you know, going into it. 
And even it said, I wanted to mention, all right, going into these women, man, say it even said, it's even uh, mentioning you women, all right, there's a possibility that you're going to be going into the uh, these, these drafts, man, okay? That ain't the first time Esau has, uh, put, you know, said that he was going to do that, man. And what does that mean for you women? You know, you're going to be asked out too as well, all right? So, hey, you know. Just bring that out, Lord willing, this is edifying. You know, close it out by giving all glory and presence to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushua, Bashim Kakadash. Until next time I say, Shalom.